it was super easy and very fun and definitely anybody of any skill level can complete this little kit ta-da we have miniature pizza and miniature soda now this little soda Hey everybody, Kaiden here, and today I have the Daiso Petit Block Pizza and Melon Soda. And this is part of the food series and is the seventh kit in the series. This is also mini block number 48 and is recommended for ages 12 and up. So let's go ahead and take a look at this kit. Alright everybody, so here is the Daiso Petit Block Pizza and Melon Soda. Now one thing I found pretty interesting is that I did a pop and cooking kit where it included a savory pizza and a sweet melon soda. So the funny thing with that is that Daiso and the pop and cooking are both Japanese brands and they both had melon soda paired with pizza. So I'm wondering if people in Japan like to drink melon soda while eating their pizza. And so that's just one thing I found kind of cool is that both of them that I have done include pizza and melon soda. And so I'm pretty excited to do today's kit because it has these transparent blocks now I really like to do a bunch of builds with the transparent blocks Just like the goldfish that I did and just a lot of the transparent blocks are pretty cool to look at because you can see through them And now if you're not very familiar with Daiso Petite Block Think of them almost as Legos, but super small, just like little nano blocks, and that's exactly what these petite blocks are. They're Daiso's version of nano blocks. Now, a regular Lego block would be like, say, maybe that big, where it's very, very thick, whereas a Daiso petite block 2x4 would be very, very small, and they all assemble to make these cool little kits here. And this is recommended for ages 12 and up, and so let's go ahead and open this. So with these dis with these Daiso Petite Blocks here, they always come in these little resealable bags and I really like to collect them because I have a whole bunch of them. So let's go ahead and take out everything. Alrighty, so included in the bag we have right here our instructions and our bag of bricks. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of our instructions here. Alrighty, so it looks like we can complete this in about seven steps and the eighth one is to show that it is complete and the cool thing with this is with some of their newer kits they're starting to have these little things that you can cut out here so it looks like we have a food menu and it can go along with our pizza and melon soda so that would be really cool pretty excited for this kit so let's go ahead and pour our bricks and start building everybody so we have finished the pizza and melon soda and I gotta say it turned out super cool and it was really easy to build so let's go ahead and take a look at our melon soda and pizza 
Okay, so here is the pizza and the melon soda, and I gotta say, this turned out super duper cool, and this is definitely gonna be one of my favorite ones to build. It was super easy and very fun, and definitely anybody of any skill level can complete this little kit, and not only that, but it looks super cool, and I really like it. So the pizza definitely does look like a pizza slice. Now to me, these look like pepperonis and peppers. Now, I could be wrong on that. It could be like a margarita pizza with tomato and basil, but to me, based on the cheese design and as well as the recognizable uh, pepperonis. I'm gonna say this is a pepperoni and pepper pizza. And what's really cool is it also comes with these transparent bricks here that allow you to stand it up. So it almost looks like it's looking at you, like it's floating. It gives a really, really cool addition and look to it. And now the thing with this is that they also have layers as well. We have the dough, we also have the sauce and the cheese and our toppings. And the crust they did really well. It definitely looks like pizza crust. And one missed opportunity that they could have done is that they could have uh, separate instructions where, say for example, you remove this front piece here and have it flat, or say without this like little nub of a cheese here. And also so that the crust is cut off at this right here. And they could have made it so maybe if you buy multiple of these sets you can complete a whole pizza i think that would would have been a really cool idea if they were to do that and overall it turned out really nice and now the melon soda is really cool because it's made all out of transparent pieces and one thing i'm kind of confused on is what this little red thing here is and now it might be like a cherry or something i'm not quite sure what it could be it's just kind of sitting there but honestly it would look a little bit more better if that little red piece wasn't there i do get that it does give it color but i just don't know what it is it also comes with this really cool straw here like a little bendable straw and the cool thing is is that since this is a flat piece you can move this around like you're moving around your little straw and you can drink from it right there and the structure of how they did it really reminds me of like i don't know like a coffee or a star starbucks cup because of the colors choice that they did and they made it look really cool and it's pretty simple nothing much very extra to it besides being a little soda cup and now if you saw at the end of the video where i swiped away those extra blocks now there's multiple reasons for the blocks being in there and it looks like these might be included or it says that it says that I'm not sure that this might be like it says oh there's gonna be extra blocks there but that might be what that is but there's multiple reasons why building block companies could put extra bricks in it could be that they want you to have it because you might lose some smaller pieces like lego does or they might be measuring it on weight uh, there's a bunch of different reasons and so with a tradition of my extra pieces on these little building block kits is that I always try to make little baby accessories or I try to make little miniature versions. And this one, I gotta say, I'm pretty proud of. And ta-da, we have miniature pizza and miniature soda. Now, this little soda, I was kind of thinking like, uh, how can I make this uh, be like a little cup like this? But I realized that I didn't have enough pieces for that. And so I made it, oh. Uh oh, that's not good. Anyways, that was my bad. Um, but I decided that I could only make this look like a little juice box or a little juice pouch like that. So it can be a little miniature like little potion or juice pouch. And the pizza was pretty hard to make since I had to work on such a small scale here. I tried to make it kind of look like the same pizza with the cheese hanging over the edge, the same like that. And so this was pretty hard to make. And I was also wondering like, well, if I have a stud on the side like this, the crust is gonna look way too big if there's a stud on each side. So I decided that since these are not like Legos where it has like little dividers from stopping it from moving around in places, I decided to offset a stud. So it's half a stud on each side, which looks a lot more fitting uh, to look like a little pizza. And now the toppings, I kind of just had to make, I don't know, like a little sauce or pepperoni piece right there with a little thing of green and now how I did this was actually pretty interesting so as you can see I have four one by two bricks right here and I aligned them in kind of like a circle shape with this one by four uh offset it in the middle on the very last one and how this is made is pretty much we have this little elbow piece right here which connects on to uh, underneath this little green piece here. Now this green piece is kind of what keeps all of the pieces together. This green piece here is connected to this side of this one by two. 
and is connected to this 1x2 and this 1x2 and also had a little 1x1 stud there because I didn't have any more cheese or any dough or anything. So what I basically decided to do was I have this little green part to hold everything in place and as you can see there on this 1x2 I have this 1x2 red piece here which connects to this 1x2 and on the edge I did the dough of course and then I also had to have another 1x2 cheese right there to hang off the side and now I was kind of wondering what to do for uh, kind of putting this together or the toppings so I decided to take one of these pepper pieces and so basically this all slots together like that and the last piece is just an offset one by two brick just like that and there we have our little pizza slice and now this was pretty kind of hard to um, put this together and I kind of felt like a Lego engineer trying to design a kit but overall I think the mini build and the regular build turned out really well and these definitely do like both recognizable with our little mini juice pouch there and our big cup of soda. And overall, this is an amazing kit. It's definitely one of my top five favorite kits that I have made. It's not only easy for beginners and as well as very fun to build. And also, it turns out really great and I love the food petite box. So I definitely give this a big thumbs up. So that was the pizza and our melon soda. And man, I had a bunch of fun building this. And I can't wait to add this to my collection because it looks super duper cool. And I definitely do a, like a bunch of these little food petite blocks. And one thing I forgot to show you guys was that I came with a little menu here. Now, the cool thing about this is that this is a foldable menu like you'd see in a restaurant. And it has designs as well on the uh, actual booklet here. And it says food menu. And we open it up. There's the menu with a hot dog, a pizza, hamburger. Also has a uh, french fry and drink combo. And you can also get a combo with a hamburger and a soda. Although, I will say though, I probably wouldn't eat at this restaurant because they're charging about 10 bucks for a small hamburger and $17 for a big hot dog. So they're running a pretty expensive restaurant, but if it looks as this good, just like our little model here, then I'd give it a try because man, the prices are pretty expensive and I just really like that they added this little menu here so you can stand it up with your melon soda and your pizza. And so I hope you guys really enjoyed my video today. And if you did, it'd be very appreciated if you would give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And also if you wanna see more videos like these, feel free to subscribe, it's totally free and you can unsubscribe at any time. And as well, hit the bell if you want to be notified of every time I upload a new video. So thank you all for watching guys and have a great day. Bye.